pyjama trousers have gotten pretty holy. I probably could patch it and keep wearing them, but I'm gonna give them to the rats instead. I'm pretty sure each leg will be able to just be some sort of tunnel hammock thing. And I'm pretty sure that a rat would fit in these pockets. So I think I'll be able to like cut that out and then somehow hang it. I'm going to see what I can do. But I should be able to get some stuff out of these. Yesterday we got our first reply back from the sanctuary um, letting us know that one of the rats is a little bit ill and whether we were like still interested and stuff and we replied and we're like please give us the rats right now and then today this morning I had my second jab which is making this arm ache I don't know why I'm holding the phone up like this <laughs> um, so now I'm a little bit hoping that I don't just get a massive headache or a fever or anything while I wash fleeces that just arrived so that I can get them cut and in the cage because we have our reply email today, have, had, they replied and um, yeah, telling us what the next steps are for adopting those rats. So now we've got to get the cage set up so that we can show them that we have somewhere for them to live. And yeah, there's a lot happening and it's very exciting and I'm just waiting for Will to get back and then we're waiting for the phone call from the animal sanctuary for the home check. I'm not sure what it entails but it's gonna be happening soon and I'm freaking out, freaking out. Oh my God, I can't remember where I last said anything, but we had the phone call for the home form check thingy. And then she was like, oh, you need written proof that the landlord's okay with you having pets. And then we were like, okay, we can try and get that. And we were really worried. And we thought that we weren't gonna get the rats anymore. But then we'll phone them up today and was like, oh, it's okay if we have some rats thinking that they were going to be like, oh no, and then they were like, actually, it's fine for you to have caged animals. They didn't even have to check with the landlord, but then they just told us that it was okay. And then we've contacted the sanctuary and now we're arranging the day to pick them up and I'm so excited and I can't handle it, oh my god. <laughs> We rehomed the rats. They're here and they're perfect and they're so perfect and I love them so much. I tried to film throughout the process of rehoming them and making some stuff for the cage and getting prepared and all of that and I think that it's maybe a bit of a slightly chaotic mess of disjointed things but I'm just gonna leave it like that because I think it represents how it felt to be going through it <laughs> and then if you have any questions about any of it feel free to ask but they were at an animal sanctuary and we rehomed them and we brought them home on Thursday it's Tuesday today so we've had them five days five this is their fifth like full day because we got them on Thursday afternoon and they're just perfect I love them so much they're so sweet they're so friendly they're so gentle, they're so energetic, they're just, they're so nice. We're not sure exactly how old they are, but we think they're about 11 months. Um, we changed their names because one was named the same as Will's friend's kid, <laughs> and then one had a Harry Potter name, so we thought we would just change all three of their names. And I'll go through them one by one so that you can see their lovely little bodies. Because, oh my god, 
Oh, rats. Well, I'll start with the one that's easiest to recognise, which is Meatball. He is the one with the black hood and the big round white bum, and he's just a lovely sweet boy. Um, he he is the happiest to be picked up. He is just they're all just sweet boys. I don't really have anything different to say about any of them. They're just sweet sweet boys. He's very energetic. He's very sleepy. He's very rat, and he's just a good boy and he's adorable. And then we've got Nugget, who is not so keen on being picked up but is still perfectly friendly he grooms us he gets on us all the time he plays with us he's so sweet oh my gosh and he's um all black with a white tummy and his tummy sides his tummy comes up the sides so that's how you know that it's nugget because he has the belly strap that comes up the edges and then there's dipper who looks basically exactly the same, but he doesn't have the side sections and he's missing the tip of his tail, which is kind of useful. <laughs> As of all, it doesn't do him any harm now. I don't know what happened to him, but it doesn't stop him from, like it's just the very tip. So he can still use his tail for everything. It doesn't cause him any trouble now. And um, he's currently on antibiotics. So we do tail check before we give him the medicine to make sure that we've got the right one because they look so similar from certain angles. Like you really need to be able to either see their tails or their sides. Otherwise they just, we're starting, like I feel like you can tell them apart sometimes based on behavior and their faces are slightly different, but when they're not, when you can't check the other things, you can't, they look the same really. So yeah, they have these little distinguishing features. And yeah, Dipper is on antibiotics at the minute. He had two days of injections before he came home because it's for respiratory stuff. Like rats are just, it's going to happen at some point. And yeah, we were, we were told about it and they were like, do you still want to bring them home? And we were like, yeah, as long as it's okay to move him we'll look after him, it's fine. So they gave us the antibiotics and now we're feeding it to him. He had them as injections, the, he had them as injections at the sanctuary for two days. And now we've started giving it to him like in two, two doses a day. Um, we tried mixing it in with food, but he obviously had already learned it at the sanctuary. So he can taste it, so we can't, we have to syringe it into his mouth, which me and Will both really hate doing it's really stressful but obviously it has to be done because otherwise he'll just get really ill um and yeah and he hates it but as soon as we're done he's just really friendly again like we'll like will holds him and then i syringe the medicine into his mouth and then we put him back in the cage and he rubs his face all over the floor <laughs> trying to get all the antibiotics off of his chin without having to like actually clean himself and then straight away he's like oh hi 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 can we play are we playing now do you have treats for me like he's just like he met us and then we started shoving this horrible tasting stuff in his mouth that he doesn't want to eat he could just think of us as that but he doesn't because Rats are perfect and adorable and he just wants to be our friend and I love him so much and I thought that this was going to be more coherent than the beginning of the video but I can't remember any of the things I've said. Basically they're perfect and I love them and I probably have said that so many times and I... <laughs> Did I say... We think they're about 11 months old. It's Meatball Nugget and Dipper. I drew a little drawing in my sketchbook that shows you how to tell them apart. And Dipper is on antibiotics. He's sounding much better already though, so they're working. We're about halfway through the course and they seem, seem to be working, so that's good. And then hopefully he'll settle down and be happy and healthy. And yeah, I don't know, man. This video this week is just going to be whatever this was <laughs> with some rat footage spliced over the top of it. And yeah, that's it.
that's this video. It's just going to be rat footage and then I'll go back to doing whatever it is I normally do <laughs> from next week because I've got rats on the brain. I've just got rats on the brain. I love them so much. I'm covered in little scratches. Absolutely covered. My, oh, I'm so inflamed at the minute, honestly. My, um, my immune system doesn't cope well with it. But I do. I love it. I'm just like, yes. Look at all these little scratches that are on me. It means I've been covered in rats. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now and leave you with maybe a bit more rat footage. And then that'll be it. So thank you for looking at my beautiful boys. And yeah, like I said, this was a little ratty introduction. And then next week I'll go back to normal. Whatever normal is. What do I normally post? I don't know. Rats. Now, maybe this is a rat YouTube. <laughs> oh, I love them so much. They're perfect. I still, I can't get over how sweet they are. So friendly. Everything is new. They're in a new place with new people. And they're just so friendly. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you for looking at my rats. <laughs> So brave, me, Hi, you don't hate us because of the medicine. <laughs> Is this that all pointed at you? I don't know. But you're cute. Hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. My YouTube now is just a blurry rat vlog. <laughs>